All right, we're back. And then when Drake says, uh, you know, for all of them out there that's trying to say all this and all that, where are they at? Oh, yeah, and you laugh now and you cry later, baby. Because he's talking about the girl that's, oh, baby. Come on, baby. Uh. He's talking about the creator. So these people, they're always talking about her, man. They're always talking about her. So don't worry about what Drake's talking about. Don't worry about uh, Phil Collins, Superman, where are you now? Don't worry about it. She's the one that knows. And she's the sister Christian that says it's okay. And she's the one that, uh, you know, the people didn't wake up. All right, I guess this generation, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, and she'll cry about it but because she loves us. But, uh, but uh, shit, man, she knows the future, man. And that's why she's always smiling. That's why she smiles later and laughs later. But uh, it is what it is, man. So these witches are worried about you, man, because as soon as this grid shuts off, they're capped off and you're going to be like and uh this is like basically like if you look at it this is just a big electromagnetic structure in the center of that nucleus kind of like those little balls you hold the electricity and hits the sides is the the the, the, the green taffiti that is the the nucleus to this whole domed uh you know sky is the limit um Tina Turner, what's beyond the Thunderdome? We don't need another hero songs. I'm trying to tell you. The sky's the limit. Right? Alright, so we're gonna get past this layer, hit it with the turpentine, loosen up the nastiness, send the trigger up. Hello, cool world. Hello, future. Hello, super being. Alright, so. But what you're going to notice, though, is that once you get around to these areas and you're doing some stuff like this, you're going to see the doodles and you're going to start seeing daywalkers. You're going to start seeing daywalkers and uh, you can't tell them that you can see them. Because if you do, they're going to say that you're crazy and all this stuff. So when you can see them, basically uh, right around this time, the sun is going to become reddish orange in your pineal gland. Like when you see him floating around, he's just going to... Just like on Big Trouble in Little China, the Guardian, with all the eyes, he floats around like that. He's got a thousand expressions, a thousand eyes, all right? So he's floating around, right? So at that point, you put that thing over someone's face that, that is questionable, it's going to show you who they are. But you don't need to be, a, you don't need to be afraid of anything. That's just chemical, chemical warfare and uh, manipulation of the mind. Uh, the only thing that I was actually afraid of in this place was the trees and mr cheeks when i came to when i came to more so and i'm not always there yet because this is going to be an extraordinary change you know but pineal gland breaks open to release a super beam all right and uh then from there you can take it another step further whether whatever reason it needs to be a guy or whatever we'll find out what that meant and it might take you to another level of superpower so it's really gonna be some shit but uh it's pretty extraordinary like these witches they're scared man like you just keep on sun gazing and uh and it's not even just them just day walkers in general man these people these illuminati people they're fucking terrified of you so you just keep sun gazing don't worry about people watching you uh, spying on you none of that shit means anything just keep on track don't even worry about none of the shit they're talking about or what they're doing and uh and you're gonna get where you're going and uh once you get there who cares about what people were saying or whatever so it is what it is hmm? yep. There you go. yep so everything they're stealing comes comes from her man this whole freemason symbol it ain't nothing but uh but her shit <laughs> What a joke. This is a fucked up ass shit, bro. <laughs> These are the pissed off maces, bro. I'm telling you. This, this, they gotta be feeling like they were robbed, bro. You gotta be feeling like you're robbed. Asking me questions. Come on now. How do you know this? How do you know about that? What does this mean? Come on now. What is a 33rd degree mason? Come on, man. This is bad. This is embarrassing. So, yeah, this is uh, the kind of stuff that you guys need to see because uh, it's the difference between program allowance and uh, breaking the program and breaking the chain. So, uh, let's see, is there anything I missed 
covering in here. Yeah, so that's your lower intestine. It sends the spiral out and it hits the force of the ground, propelling the entity upward. And it sends it coming in from the sun. So that light that is in there, that is being manipulated is extremely powerful allows you to fly at least up to the top of the dome where the sun is literally hitting the dome itself so you have extraordinary ability of flight you could probably go up there and touch that dome but i don't think anybody else that's capped off can do that all right so here it is coming spiraling out of the top of the head by that point you can see her all-seeing eye <laughs> fuck it's just it's fucking embarrassing dude he had to tell you that story it makes you wonder, did he get his eye ripped out at all? Like, I don't know. It makes me wonder, man. What the fuck? It just makes me wonder about this dude, man. <laughs> all right, so again, get the daily glue out. Let coconut oil just sit on there. It just tears into it. If not, you're gonna be doing this for hours. So get this hour shit out of the way. Within an hour, you can be into this. And once you get into this, within maybe like three or four hours, You'll be into the center of the Tootsie Row, where you will have to drop the turpentine in immediately so it can seep into the optic nerves, which you will feel, because you're going to feel it scan the whole eye. You're going to feel it go all the way in. It's such an invasive, uh, oniony, lemony in the eye feeling. You're going to feel that motherfucker go. <laughs> And as always, onward and out of the fog we go. In all actuality, as I'm saying it. Because all this happens by chance, just like the garbage pill kid. And just like the Superman, there's, there's no way that the prophecy can be fucked up. It's because you started doing magic all by chance, kung fuing motherfuckers all by chance, and making all this come together. I would just so happen to start sun gazing all by chance. Can't fucking fuck up the prophecies because there's no way to do the because and the chance factors are just the way of life. They, they exist, the fibers of makeup, the possibilities of possibilities. Oh my goodness. Everything and every action, she kung fu's it, man. People need to just, if they have ill intention, you're gonna pass me up forward and then motherfucking is gonna be looking at you like, why in the fuck did you do this? Why did you help this dude? And uh, that's why I always try to tell people. I try to warn people about about our, our friendship. That she's just not going to allow somebody to fuck me up. She's not going to let anybody mess with me. So uh, if there's any means for me to become something better, it would be the only reason that it would be allowed in the first place. Know this about yourself. Know this about everything. Know that the future is coming, that the prophecy will be fulfilled. And when there's a will in spirit, there's a way. Hmm, interesting. Welcome to Grim Nasty TV.